kind of hedged around certain parts of my musical personality and shuffled by them, pretending that they don't exist. The old Zeppelin-isms, or whatever they are. Now, whatever this time is for me, and its success is, it would be great if it was a big success, but if it's not, tough. But whatever it is, whatever it, this thing is, this is the best I could wish for, especially after all this time of fooling around. To get to this point, it's quite an achievement. The record really began <coughs> um, in the summer of 88 when we were touring in the United States on the non-stop go tour. We were finding as a band that we were becoming more and more uh, of a sort of comfortable unit of people, both socially and musically, and we were having a great time. We were working very hard in that very hot summer, and on the days off, we you normally find that band members kind of disappear into the, the streets and into the lives and loves of America or wherever it is, Hong Kong. But we decided to stay together and rent studios and book studios and work on new material. And that's quite a sort of um, a remarkable thing to do when you've been traveling for 200 days. So the whole thing began at that point and it proceeded through till the tour finished in December 88. And by mid-January of 89, we were in the studio recording. content really and the inspiration to sing or to to write uh, first of all um, my life and my emotions my whole sort of being is a checkerboard of uh, high spots and low spots of good ideas and absolutely terrible mistakes and the circumstances that I sometimes find myself in are ones that I have to wriggle to get out of saving my face if I can at all so you do get the sort of odd song of, um, of love departed, and I'm still running down the block on a skateboard trying to bring this love back. And there's, um, there's an amount of humor because I do know what a fool I am, you know, and I do kind of enjoy the fool in me. I can't really be angry at him because, you know, I've known him for so long. He's a, he's a loony, an idiot at least. So lyrically, there's, there's fun. And there's this kind of stuff that is serious, but you don't know whether it's serious or just a little bit on the edge of parody. <laughs> <laughs> 